Hello and welcome to the channel. My name's Mike. My channel is Mike Fixed It. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't already, please go down and subscribe and check out my past videos. Well, we are on a hilltop in my 2019 Mustang GT convertible and we want to switch out the whip antenna for a stubby antenna. Now, um, part of this is cosmetic. The other part of this is I am considering getting a wing or a spoiler for the back of this car. But most of the manufacturers of spoilers say that they will not work with the convertible. Now, the reason that they give is that they may interfere with the antenna. So my hopes are by switching to a stubby antenna that we will be able to put on any spoiler or wing that we want to. What I'll be doing is I'll be tuning in some of the weakest stations that I can receive on the whip antenna and then I'm going to switch antennas and we're going to see if we can get those same stations in using the stubby antenna. Okay, so here's the stations that I found. I put them in my presets and they are barely coming in. Let's see if we can get them after replacing the antenna. Let's switch out the antenna and let's uh, see if the reception is the same better or worse. The reception's okay. But there's a problem, so I'm not sure this is the right antenna for me. So let's go take a look. So here's the problem. This fitment is awful. This is not matching up. The diameter of the bottom of the replacement stubby antenna is wider than the diameter of the, uh, the little stalk where the bump comes out of the car. And the other problem is, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the mounting hardware. The old antenna made a complete seal between the little uh, stalk, the little bump coming out. So while the reception is good, I'm afraid this product is a fail. It's got to go back. Well, that didn't go as I expected it to, but you don't know unless you try. So I'm going to go back and see if I can find something that definitely will fit this car. What I'll do is I'll take some measurements first and then I'll confer with the manufacturer or the supplier to make sure that it's going to be a good fit. Well, here's some exciting news, exciting for me at least. I have surpassed 300 subscribers. Yeah. Now I have to tell you that sounds like a small number, but when I was starting this channel, it seemed like it took me forever to get to 100. And when I hit that number, it was just awesome. And now all of a sudden I'm at 300. So I hope to continue bringing good content to you, my viewers. If you have already subscribed, thank you very much. Um, I really enjoy listening to your comments. If you haven't subscribed, please consider going right down there and subscribing, turning on those post notifications, share my video, and of course, feel free to go back, browse my past videos, and leave a comment. I love hearing from all of you. In a recent episode, I told you that my car went to Thompson's Detail Center for Expel Paint Protection and Window Tint. Well, the Expel Paint Protection came out great, and I have an episode coming up that tells you more about that. It tells you why I chose um, which areas of the car to get paint protected, and it shows you a little bit of inside scoop into the process, and we have a really good conversation with the installer. So thank you in advance to Thompson's Detail Center. I look forward to bringing you that content. And right now I'm excited to do the official reveal of my window tint.
Here it is. This is the Expel Prime XR window film. This is a 35% tint. I think every time you have your windows tinted, you think, oh, I could have gone darker. I should have gone darker. But I gotta tell you, I'm liking it. Well, the sky is kind of gloomy, but I'm gonna give you an idea of the amount of tint. Here's the windshield, it is not tinted. And here is the side window. So this is what some people might call a light tint. Expel says with the Prime XR window film, since it has nano ceramic tech, there's no radio, cell, or Bluetooth interference that you might get with metalized films. Well guys, that wraps it up for this video. Before I go, I wanna let you know of an event that's coming up, a subscriber meet, and it's going to be at Gateway Classic Cars. That's 1228 Forest Parkway in Deptford, New Jersey. It's coming up on March 30th, that's a Saturday, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and I'm planning on going. So if you're watching this video and you uh, wanna meet, and you just want to come out and you know meet some of the other YouTubers and see a whole bunch of great cars, please try to get down there. So for now, this is Mike. The channel is Mike Fixed It. Be good, be well, be safe, and I will talk to you and hopefully see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I fixed it.